Good morning to the best enemy on YouTube. Good morning. So you want a PvP in GTA? I got you. I used to be a tryhard for eight years. I used to PvP any kind of player. I know tips and tricks. So we're gonna go on tip number one. Tip number one is your homing, not homing. Your your heavy sniper mark two. What you want to do with this thing is you want to go to first person. And let's say you want to shoot someone, right? Let's say I'm sniping this girl. You shoot her in the window. You shoot this. You shoot that. Okay, the more you do it, the more you're going to get good. I haven't PvP'd in six months, so I'm a little choppy. But going from that, see how choppy and slow it is with, you know, in third person. It is very slow. It doesn't really work very well. But first person, you have that very quick and snappy kind of feel. And basically how I did stuff is I used to snipe the AI. That's how I got really good at PvP, is just sniping the AI. As you just seen. So, there is your tip number one. Go first person to snipe quicker in PvP. At the end of the video, I will be showing you guys how my setup is. So next tip number two is the RPG spam. The RPG spam is very easy. Without the reload. It's very easy to do that. So basically all I did there is you go to your home, your RPG you fire it you go to a different gun and you just fire it again basically that's all that is so that's your tip number two you go to sticky bombs or any type of gun and you go right back to the RPG pull it out and go right back to it that's it that's the RPG spam not complicated at all uh, so that's your tip number two tip number three we're going through these pretty quick. Tip number three is how to combat close counter. So what I did for this is I always used friends and or AI for this. But what you could do is you can basically combat roll in PvP. So what that means is you want to roll. You don't want to roll first because you'll die. So you want to aim, fire at whatever you're trying to shoot at, in this case, you know, other people when you're in a online game with other people, you don't not want to roll first. Rolling first is a no bueno. it is a no go, you will die first, in most scenarios. Uh, as well as nowadays what they do is they shoot an RPG at your feet to kill you, that is a thing. As well as shooting an RPG up in the sky to kill you with a jet. That's what a lot of people are also doing. But now we have the railgun, which I will not be going into a online public session unless there is content to be made. Just saying. So, as well as that, that is tip number three. Um, tip number four that I have, that I've kind of seen over the years, is vehicle combat. Uh, vehicle combat... It depends on the car, it depends on what you're trying to do. If it's vehicle-wise, air to ground, there's thermal that you could do. There's a thermal glitch out. I'm not going to post that because that is not my thing. I don't do any glitches, but there is a thermal glitch out. I do not use it, nor do I even do glitches in the game. Even though I did the RP glitch, RP glitch, RPG spam glitch, that is a RPG spam for PvP. I did it for that reason. To show you guys how to do it. I do not use it in any scenarios at all. Disclaimer. So the vehicle stuff you could do very easy things. You could do a sticky bomb. Throw it out the window. And get kills that way. Which with the Imani tech. You do not get locked on by any sorts of vehicles. That are homing or anything like that. 
but if you have the special ammo you do in case have the armor piercing rounds which armor piercing rounds exactly do that they pierce the armor and or things with the Imani tech on as well that is tip number four last tip of the day you have Again, vehicle stuff. This is air to ground and or, you know, already did that. What else do I have? Um, that's kind of all the tips and tricks that I have is just those four. I just dumbed it down. Um, tip number one, sniping. That's very easy. Go in first person, go back and forth and or roll if you want. Uh, tip number two, RPG spam. I told you how to do it. RPG spams are you go to your sticky bomb, go right back to your RPG, and do that constantly. That's RPG spamming. Combat roll, you go... So basically, for me, it is X to roll. So you want to go... You want to start walking in a certain way, and you walk, and you roll. If you're really good, you could basically do that. What that does is... It looks broken, but it's an easier way of getting up. Is and what I'm doing is I'm rolling my thumb to make it roll like that. But in a sense, you do not want to roll first. So tip four is sticky bombs out of uh, any sorts of vehicle. You could do that by going into a vehicle. If I can shoot someone here and or get a vehicle. So the best way I've done it is the Imani Tech. I use the Buffalo S T X for this. It is a charger in the game current. So the way I do it is I'm going to just do this vehicle here. Give me this. So the way I do it is I go up. I flip around and then I stick my arm out the window and I chuck you know I chuck the I chuck the sticky bomb out and I watch where it lands and then you do that it's a very easy kill just like so but that takes practice, that takes some kind of um, technique, as well as tip number five is RPGs thrown up in the sky for, you know, taking people out of jets. Okay, this one takes time to master. It took me tons and tons and times to master. I had a friend that had a jet, and we just practiced me in the correct timing, you know, things like that matter to get him out of jets. Um, I'm still learning how to do that. I'm always evolving. Um, but as well, you could use BST on top of this to get better kills and or better damage, but I don't recommend that. Because once people start learning how you're doing that and or learning how to use BST, <laughs> You will get called cheater. I will guarantee that. But this was GTA and how you PvP in GTA. You basically go into a public lobby and you just find someone that's griefing and or you grief someone until they leave the game. That is basics of I mean, try hard. Um, usually try hards wear a certain outfit. I use this outfit to pvp i don't really like pvp in gta because it's it's all a it's all skill based but you do have the occasional glitcher and or god mode person and or god mode speedo once you see that i usually just leave the game and or troll with the orbital cannon you do have that as well um but Hopefully this helps anyone who has PvP'd as well as these are my settings for, um, you know, for any PvP, this is what I use for PvP. You can go through them if you wish. 
but this is kind of my settings for PvP. Um, you know, it, it, it is different. It is easier for me. Uh, I've learned all of this off of eight years of doing PvP. But hopefully this helps you guys. Hopefully you learned something. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video no matter what you're doing. I always post six times a day. I post three times a day for shorts. And those shorts are also in video form. So you have six videos a day. Um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you do like GTA content just like this. I will see you guys in the next video which is Monday.